Listen, I know what you want. You want to lose money in real estate. A lot of people out there trying to tell you how to make money in real estate. Well, that's no fun. Where's the adventure in making money? Losing money, way better. You know, you learn more by losing than you do by winning. And I would like to give you that experience. So because I'm your humble real estate servant, I thought I'd throw together a list of the top 20 ways to guarantee that you lose money in real estate. I mean, that's why we're here, right? We work really hard for our money. Let's give it to someone else. So here we go, top 20. Now I've broken it down into buyers and sellers. So for this first list, you are selling your home and these are the top 10 ways to ensure you're gonna lose money, and that's what we're after. So number one, sell for cash, and I mean all cash. I mean, if you really think about it, if someone's giving you all cash, they're usually wanting you to give something up because cash is king, right? Everybody knows cash is king. Number one, accept an all cash offer. Almost guaranteed ways you're gonna lose money and better yet, accept an all cash offer from an investor, even better. Number two, low option money. Accept an offer where the buyer is offering low option money. I mean, 500 bucks, could be 100 bucks, could be any, anything for valuable consideration, but a low option amount, guaranteed there's a sucker punch coming. Number three, high earnest money. I actually had a guy tell me one time he wouldn't accept an offer unless it had 5% earnest money. Didn't care about anything else, but the price and the earnest money, oh man, what a wonderful way to expose yourself and leave yourself open than to just focus on earnest money, which they get back if they exercise one of, oh, I don't know, 66 ways to wiggle out of the 1-4 contract. But again, this list is all about losing money. I mean, they need it more than you do, right? This is number three, pay less than 3% to the agent bringing the buyer. Known as the buyer commission, the person bringing the buyer, if you pay them less than 3%, I'm seeing a lot of sellers offering 2% to the buyer agent. Now, that's illegal, but there's no way that you can prove but buyer's agents, they're kind of they're kind of sneaky. They will divert their buyers away from your listing if you're only offering 2% or 2.5%. So a guaranteed way to lose money when you're selling your house, offer the buyer agent less than 3% as a commission. All right, moving right along. Number five, should have been number one to me. Sell the property yourself. According to the National Association of Realtors, home sold for sale by owner on average leaves 16.88% on the table. Just sell it yourself. The market does all the work for you. You don't need to pay some knucklehead, wing ding, half-butted crybaby real estate agent. Certainly not 6%. Guaranteed way to lose money, sell it yourself. I mean, how hard, how hard can it be to sell real estate? It's not hard at all, apparently. Okay, number six, list the property at or just above or way above the market value. I mean, appreciation's going through the roof here in the Dallas area, so they're gonna pay it anyway. Let's just list it high. Guaranteed way to leave money on the table or to lose money, which is what we're after here, is list at or above market value. Number seven, pay less than 3% to the listing agent that's hired to sell your house. I mean, they're a salesperson, but what better way to demotivate a salesperson than to remove their incentive? Pay less than 3%, guarantee you're gonna lose money. Number eight, accept the highest offered price irregardless of the other terms. Just pick the highest one, right? No one ever in the history of real estate has offered a ridiculously high purchase price, probably followed by zero or very low option money, and then came in and renegotiated during the option period. Like that never happens. So best way to lose money in a real estate transaction, just accept the highest price. I mean, it's not what you accept, it's what you actually close, but that's okay. We're having fun. Number nine, require proof of funds before you let a buyer into the property. Isn't that great? You have a house to sell, you wanna show it to people, but require proof of funds. I mean, what a great way to turn off the marketplace than to require proof of funds before you even shoot. I mean, you're eliminating looky-loos and most of the other uh, marketplace as well. But again, guaranteed way to lose money in real estate, just require proof of funds before you
before you let them in the door. All right, number 10, you've been waiting. Limit the showings. No overlapping times. You gotta get approval from the seller or the seller's agent. It really should be number one. Actually, all of these should be number one. But if there was, if there was a, if there was a burning tire award for number one, it would be this one. If you can limit the number of people that access your property, you're guaranteed to lose money on the transaction. So there you go. Top 10 ways to lose money when you're selling your house. Are you ready for the buy side? Okay, let's, let's get right into it. Number one, best way to lose money when buying property, don't buy. You should wait until things cool off. Best way to lose money. Number two, submit a low ball offer. I mean, this market's crazy, supply and demand. They're, they're asking 700,000 for that house. Let's offer them 600. What's the worst thing they can do, right? No's are free. I believe it was James that said, you do not have because you do not ask. Guaranteed way to lose money, just offer them a low ball offer. Burn any bridge, any chance you have with that seller. Just make a low ball offer. You'll be glad you did. Look at all this money we're losing in, on the buy side. Number four, use Zillow for your comp data. You know, there's a joke. What does the A in Zillow stand for? It stands for accuracy. Well, Jono, there's no A in, oh yeah. Best way to lose money in buying real estate, use Zillow for your comp data. Number five. Ask the sellers. Remember, you're the buyer. Best way to lose money in a real estate transaction on the buy side is ask the sellers to cover your closing costs. I mean, they're making all this money. They shouldn't be greedy, right? Let's ask them to cover the closing costs. I mean, you're limited on your cash. What a great way to, to make up a difference. Ask the sellers to pay for it. No way this stuff works. I promise you it works. Guaranteed to lose you money. Number six, use national mortgage lenders such as Market Mortgage or Lickin Quones. I mean, they offer great rates with tons and tons of hidden fees, but you're gonna get shot in the foot when you try to submit your offer because no listing agent wants to work with a national outfit. They want a local guy. Somebody can get over there and choke them if they mess something up. You don't wanna use a local guy. You wanna lose money, ergo, is facto. You need a national outfit like Mocket Rorgage or Lickin Quones. Number seven, ask the seller to pay for a home warranty, also known as a residential service contract on the one to four form. I mean, if they're so proud of their house and it's such a great house, the least they can do is kick $600 at us for a home warranty. Guaranteed way to lose you money. Number eight, ask the seller to pay for the title policy. Again, how does it benefit you if you're paying for all this stuff? right? You're trying to lose money here. Let's just ask the seller to pay for all that stuff. Ask them to pay for title policy. I mean, come on, no brainer. Number nine, hire your buddy as your buyer agent. Your representation. You know, if you were, if you were embezzling funds, and you got caught and you needed to hire an attorney, of course you would hire your buddy. You wouldn't hire the best guy. You would hire your buddy because you want your buddy to make money. Guaranteed way to lose money in a real estate transaction on the buy side, hire someone that you cannot fire. I mean, the closer you are to them, actually the, the better. So hire your buddy. You're gonna lose some money. That's what we're after here. Number 10, insist on non-realty items. I mean, you're paying all this money for this house. The very least they could do is throw in the daggum fridge. I mean, daggum. How about that TV hanging on the wall over there? They can give you that too. Non-realty items. Let's blow this entire deal over a $400 refrigerator. Guaranteed to lose your money. Hope that was helpful. If you're new to the channel, I'm John Garms. My friends call me Jono. Hopefully you'll call me Jono. If you like this type of stuff, clearly this entire deal is satire. Um, I love real estate and you know what I love more than real estate? I just love people. People are freaking awesome. People are actually my favorite. Uh, so hopefully you had some fun watching this. If, if I offended you, I really don't care. Uh, you're not my guy anyway. <laughs> of course I care. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. You wanna see every time this stuff drops, just hit the subscribe button, hit the little notification bell. It does this when you hit it. That way you're notified anytime new content drops. Give us a like, let us know how we're doing. Give us a comment. Tell us what we could be doing better. If there was something that wasn't on the list that should have been, shame on me. Throw it in the comments. You know, I actually got my first troll comment this last week. Actually, I love the trolls. If you trolls are out there, please, come on. Bring the hammer, right? Give it to me. I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. Thanks for giving me some time. Take care of yourself and each other.